is our mulch. We got it from a local horse rescue place. One of my volunteers, her name is Benny Abbott. She rescues horses and it is old poop. But good news is it doesn't smell anymore because it's a year old, so now it's just soil. It's really good, fertile soil and mulch. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this stuff over all the stuff we just planted. Here's some gloves. Oh my God, this is harder than it looks. I know it. It's just a beautiful, wonderful place that a lot of people don't know about. There's over 150 species of animal, water life, waterfowl, mammals. I mean, it's like Shangri-La in the middle of an urban area here. We're learning about clouds and just weather and why it's summer when we're farther away from the sun, which is kind of weird, and all stuff about that. The current restriction right now is, for example, we had a refuge appreciation day and the children were originally going to come Friday, but due to inclement weather, it had to be canceled or postponed. So wouldn't it be nice to have a facility, regardless of weather, where when you plan a trip for the benefit of the students to learn more about nature and environmental protection, to be able to schedule it and actually hold it. The schoolhouse will be about a 2,200 square foot environmental education center. It will have a place to do lab work, uh, have audio visual support to support the classroom environment. It will provide the children, students, and family members that come here to learn more about the environment 12 months a year. Our best estimate all in is going to be somewhere north of $600,000. Most refuges have friends groups, and Two Ponds is special in that we have the Two Ponds Preservation Foundation and the Founders and Friends of Two Ponds. And both of these friends groups are extremely helpful in supporting us in ways that we could not do on our own. The Two Ponds Preservation Foundation was created and founded in 1990. The Schoolhouse Project is part of our foundation's legacy of learning. We are launching a capital campaign right now and our goal for that is to partner with local companies uh, for, and seek in-kind sponsorships as well as other companies who are willing to donate money to make this happen. Two Ponds is special to me. It's very close to my heart because I can just take a short walk from my house, come into the refuge and get away from the craziness of life. There's a lot of city kids who never have seen a frog, for example, or, or been close to nature, and they have the access of it so close to them. And that, so it's a really special place that touches them in a way that where most urban kids don't get that opportunity. I want them to know that it's here, that it's a local free resource that's for them, for wildlife, and just to enjoy the experience for themselves.